The Chimbitos were at least like £600, I'd say, and these were £14. I mean... Oh my god, this is literally looking like I have an actual bob. But let me untuck my hair before we all start to panic. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing a Primark haul as we already know because it's in the thumbnail, it's in the title and that's why we're all here. I have only ever done one other Primark haul on my channel. Main reason being I don't actually shop at Primark that much. I do actually shop there though for like nightwear, laundry. If I'm going on holidays and I need a few like holiday essentials that I'm only probably going to use for that trip, I always head to Primark. But I never actually check out the clothes really until the other day. I actually did a huge shop and I was so pleasantly surprised by everything I found. I actually ended up spending like £185. I have four bags this full. And I just thought why not haul it with you all because I genuinely think I found some sick pieces that you wouldn't even know was Primark. I've got nothing against Primark but I always thought in the past that Primark quality wasn't the best. But honestly the stuff I found has proven me completely wrong. I've actually picked up a couple of coats that I'm not actually going to keep. But the reason I purchased them and I'm going to show you them is because they make insane dupes of some coats that I already have. I think one was Topshop and one was Zara and both were around £80 and trust me when I say the Primark ones are a lot less money and practically the exact same. So let's get on with the haul. I actually can't remember everything I picked up because it was about two weeks ago that I did this shop but all I know is looking at it honestly you are all going to be like as if that's from Primark. Because so trust me, I felt the exact same way. Now, the first one of my dupes is this checked coat. I mean, it's so nice, guys. I can't even explain to you. It was £30. It wasn't really cheap, but it's still super affordable. I picked it up in a size 14, so it'd give that oversized kind of look. The buttons on it are tortoiseshell, which we all know that I absolutely love because I feel like it makes stuff look a lot more expensive. I have actually tried this on and it's a really lovely fit as I'm sure you're now seeing in the cutaway. I'm not going to be keeping this coat only because I have one from Zara which is super similar. So this is the Zara coat I'm talking about and as you can see guys look how similar these two jackets are. Obviously this is a lot thicker and heavier and things like that. But for the price difference, they are so, so similar. This has tortoiseshell buttons, exactly like the other one. Granted, the buttons are bigger. You won't believe it, but I actually got this coat last year. And in the pocket is the label from it. <laughs> so I can tell you how much I paid for it. So this coat, the Zara version, cost me $95.99. And this Primark one is going to set you back 30 quid. I think that's a bloody good dupe because to be honest, there is barely any difference. Sticking with coats, I also picked up this black coat. It's obviously not showing very well on camera, it just looks like a black blob. But I've actually already worn this on my Instagram. It's like a very classy looking coat. It would be perfect for work and it would also just be perfect for like smarter occasions, if that makes sense. I got it in a size 14 because I wanted it to fit a little bit more oversized. Even so, I would definitely say it is more of a fitted style coat though. I just think, I know I've said it about everything, but you could have bought this from Zara, H&M, anywhere, and you just wouldn't even know. I think this cost me around £20, and quite honestly, like, I could probably tell someone this is from Whistles and they'd actually believe me. This outfit was recently featured on my Instagram, and what it is, it's a sheer, it's actually showing up sheer on there. I'll insert a photo from my Instagram, by the way, of me in this outfit so you get the whole vibe. But the top has got big puff sleeves. It smells so nice because it smells like my perfume. I have this new perfume from Pent Halligans and honestly, it smells like the dream. And whenever you spray it on anything, it lasts literally forever. Anyway, off subject. This top is honestly so nice. It's really dressy. It looks great. I mean, how I styled it, I'm bigging myself up there. With just black jeans, black boots, which were also both from Primark. I have this top in a size small and it fits pretty much true to size. It's just really nice. So the boots I wore with that top, by the way, I wore Primark skinny jeans, black ones. I got them in a size 10. I think they're around 15 pounds, maybe 13 pounds. Can't actually show you them because they're in the wash currently. They fitted so well and value for money was literally like 10 out of 10. I actually have them in another color denim, which I'll show you in a minute. So these are the boots. They were actually super comfortable. They've only got a smallish heel, but obviously because of the platform in them, it made them comfy. They've just got a zip down either side. I can't remember the exact price because obviously I wore them when I shot the outfit. But I think they were around like £15, which for a pair of nice black boots is 
a proper bargain and then to finish the look i picked up this belt there's not really much to say about this other than it's a black belt with a gold buckle the leather is definitely not real leather it's like pleather and i think once again i've ripped the label off but i think this was like four pounds or something ridiculously cheap it's just a really nice way of accessorizing any kind of outfit and as you can see i'll insert the photo one more time it just added a little bit of something something to a plain black outfit i'll be using this so many more times i just know it so next up we are on to knitwear and I picked up two jumpers. The reason I picked these up is because I think they are insane dupes of the Zara jumpers which looks so similar to this and here's one I prepared earlier. So this is the Zara jumper I'm on about. There is a slight colour difference as you can see but they're both such a similar material. In fact the Primark one is actually a lot softer than the Zara one because the Zara one is quite itchy. Now I think these are either $25.99 or $29.99 and the Primark ones are £10 so you wouldn't even barely know the difference I kid you not I actually picked it up in black as well because I just thought this would be so handy to wear with leather leggings and stuff like that obviously given the fact it's super soft and I always say about these Zara ones I hate them because they're so itchy I just think this would make such a good alternative to those because I actually wear the Zara ones so much so I was super happy with that. They also came, I think, in a cream colour and possibly a grey as well. But by this point, I'd been in the shop for about an hour and I really just thought I needed to stop buying stuff. Like I was saying earlier, usually when I shop in Primark, it's just for essentials. And I often do get stuff like this. So this is just literally a plain black roll neck. It costs six quid. I actually picked it up twice because I just thought they're really handy to have. I live in black roll necks in the winter and I think the Zara ones are like $19.99. So the price difference is crazy. The only thing I will say though is these are a lot thinner than the Zara ones and I also don't necessarily love how the neck is. The neck's quite thin where the Zara ones is definitely a lot thicker and just kind of like pulls you in a little bit better. But for Daisy it doesn't really matter what quality your outfit is. Like Daisy just chilling at home and stuff like that. I honestly think that these are perfect things to have in your wardrobe just to chuck on. I actually picked it up in grey as well. Sorry, it's a little bit creased because I've actually worn this one already. But like I say, they're just really handy things to have. And for six quid each, well, I was near on buying the rail, to be honest. So, I obviously mentioned the fact that I picked up some jeans earlier. And these are the ones that I got, obviously, as well as the black skinny jeans. I actually should have the price still on these somewhere. Oh my god, typical, there's no label. So I can't actually tell you. I'm sure they were either £13 or £15. Pounds. The reason I'm checking is the black ones would have been the same price as this. But they're called Body Sculpt Skinny. They're actually super stretchy, which I'm always here for in skinny jeans because I like to be comfortable and not feeling restricted. Um, I picked them up in a size 10 and a leg length 30. I'm actually realising I probably should have got a leg length 32 because these are going to be way too short for my legs. But they look a really nice colour and I probably will just return these and get them in the size that I should have got. But clearly I didn't read properly. But honestly the quality of them, if you stuck like a Zara label on them or I don't know a Miss Selfridge label, you literally wouldn't know the difference. That being said, I do still think that Topshop jeans are better than these but obviously there is quite a big price difference. In the future, I'll definitely still be buying my jeans from Topshop just because I like jeans to be nice and hugging and nicely fitted. But once again, if you want a cheaper alternative, maybe for like work or something like that, these are definitely a good option. I also picked up some accessories and stuff. This is the stuff I always look at when I go to Primark, but in future, I'll be looking at everything. So this only cost £4. I mean, £4 for a thick lovely scarf i love dog tooth print it literally is one of my favorite prints ever it's timeless and i just think this would make any all black outfit just something a little bit more also for four quid stuff like this would make an amazing christmas gift for someone if i was doing it i'd just take off all the packaging not that there's anything wrong with the packaging but obviously i just think this plastic thing looks a little bit cheap i'd take off the packaging fold it all nicely in some tissue paper like that would be such a nice gift and no one would ever know it cost four quid because it's genuinely really soft and lovely quality. I picked up another belt whilst I was there and oh, it was only two quid. So maybe that one from earlier was actually only two or three pounds. I think I told you it's four pounds, but I'm actually looking at this thinking maybe it wasn't as much as I thought it was. Well guys, this is a obviously faux leather belt with a gold buckle for two quid. Bargain or what? I also picked up another pair of shoes whilst I was there. Reason I picked these up is because these are an amazing dupe of the Genvito Rossi's. I'll insert a photo of the shoes I'm talking about right now. 
The Jambitos were at least like £600 I'd say and these were, there must be a price somewhere, £14. I mean, what the hell? I mean, I'm not saying you wouldn't know the difference because truthfully you would know the difference between these and the designer ones, but from a distance and like for nights out when half the time your shoes get wrecked anyway, I just think these are really perfect. They'd actually be really good for work as well if you do wear heels to work. I don't know, not everyone wears heels to work, but if you do wear heels to work, I think these would be really good. And I just thought they were really cute. I got them, actually, I think I got them in a size up from my regular size. I got them in a size five because when I tried them on, they did feel like they was gonna be quite tight. And, and obviously because this PVC plastic material really has no give in it whatsoever. So my next dupe is this coat. Now I told you I love dog tooth print and quite clearly I do. I'm actually just looking. I picked this up in a size 16. Haven't actually tried it on yet, but I don't know, I was obviously going for that oversized kind of vibe as per usual. This cost the same as the other coat and it was £30. Reason I picked this up is because I think it is very similar to this coat. So this one is last year from Topshop and then this one is this year from Primark. Obviously you can see there is a bit of a difference in the print, I totally get that. But I think this coat cost around £85. And obviously this one is £30. I mean, granted, the Topshop version is nicer, it's thicker and it is better quality. But if you're on a bit of a budget or maybe you're just wanting to buy something for like that one-off wear, for 30 quid, this is such a good option. And like I just said about the dog tooth scarf I just showed you, this print is timeless and it would just look so nice with an all black outfit and then this jacket over the top. I mean, I think this is such a find. If you're not all running to Primark at this moment in time, then... I don't know what I'm doing wrong. By the way, I actually forgot to tell you that this hoodie I'm wearing is actually also from Primark. I picked it up the same day as I got all of this stuff and it's so nice. I've already uploaded a Instagram photo in it. I think I'll have uploaded it by the time you see this video. If I have, I'll insert it just here. And it's really good because it's like a longer length so you can wear it as a dress, which I'm definitely here for. And I actually wanna go back and get it. I think they did it in gray and possibly white as well. So I think I'm gonna go back and get it in those. I picked it up in a size small. It's definitely like an oversized fit. So I'd say just get a small. I actually think that everything from Primark fits really big. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm always at least a small in Primark stuff. And even then it is quite oversized, but I mean, I'm here for that. Okay, so last few bits I picked up and they're actually, well, the last last thing isn't actually boring because it's a little bit glitzy, but these things are just the stuff that I always pick up whenever I go to Primark. So I got a black bra, a white bra. I won't be showing you these on in a cutaway. Some knickers, I always pick up the same knickers. I got two packs of those because you can never have enough white knickers. And I also picked up some trainer socks, which I can't find right now, but I always go to Primark for that sort of stuff. But that brings us on to the last thing that I picked up. I haven't actually tried this on yet, but when I saw it on the hanger, I just thought this would be a really good thing to show because I think this would be a really lovely, affordable, Christmas dress. It's got these little straps on it and then it's got this cow front to it, which I always love because I always think that is just so flattering. This costs £13, which I think is an absolute bargain. It's double lined as well, so it won't be see-through, which is a bit of a bonus. I just think this would be really nice for like a Christmas night out, possibly a Christmas work party. You could wear like a long blazer over the top of it if you don't want to be too exposed. But for 13 quid. I think this is a right find. If I like this on, I think I'm actually going to involve this in my Christmas party outfits video. By the way, I'm going to be doing a Christmas party styling outfit video that hopefully will be up in the next week or so. But I think I'm going to involve this dress as like my affordable outfit. I think I might go back to Primark and find like matching heels and possibly a bag so I can pop in that haul like an affordable night out outfit. But anyway, that brings us to the end of my Primark haul. I hope you've enjoyed this and you've been like as surprised at what I found as I've been. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video, guys. Bye.